Wait and Weather. A quiet and beautiful start to the work week and a gorgeous time lapse of our setting sun. A few contrails overhead and by and large, we stayed quiet here. There were a few passing showers that impacted some across the region, but not Fargo, not Grand Forks. And here's a look at that latest SkyCam from the Valley SkyCam as we look towards Hector International. Temperatures still very mild out there, 64 degrees. We have dry air over us with dew points in the 40s and a southeast breeze now at only six miles per hour. Temperatures close to 60 degrees for most across eastern North Dakota, including Grand Forks and Cavalier as well. 59 this hour in Thief River Falls, and it's cooler around Lake of the Woods. 53 there, and Bemidji at a cool 50 degrees. Clear skies, quiet conditions all evening long along the Highway 2 corridor and out across much of western Minnesota. But clouds and passing showers impacted southeast North Dakota. As we head into the overnight hours, that has diminished, but we have quite a bit of activity with some unsettled weather that's going to impact our weather as we go through the day tomorrow. Overnight, quiet for most, cannot rule out a passing sprinkle, uh, mainly in South Dakota and the far west as we start out our Tuesday morning. Generally, temperatures will be near 50 degrees. Heading through the early half of the day, that's when conditions will be fair. We'll see increasing clouds in the far west in Devil's Lake Basin, but many of us here in Fargo and point south and east warming to near 70 degrees, and that is it. As we head into the evening hours, we have a system that will work through bringing a chance of showers and rumbles of thunder as we go towards drive time. So much of the area will have a better chance at seeing some measurable rainfall as we go through the afternoon. And a few of these could be thunderstorms that contain some hail and gusty wind. And I don't expect a good chance of severe weather, but a couple of the storms may indeed pipe up to severe intensity. As we go into the evening hours, cooler air works its way in as the showers exit through western and central Minnesota. In Fargo-Moorhead, starting out near 50, warming up in the early afternoon to around 70 degrees. The best chance of showers and thunderstorms comes between, say, 3 or 4 in the afternoon and the drive time home. And then by the evening hours, the storm should exit into parts of western Minnesota. Look at the cool weather in the Devil's Lake Basin on your way home from work there. 60 degrees. It'll be a little bit milder the farther to the south and east you go. We may even be near 70 in Fargo and Detroit Lakes as we cap off our afternoon on Tuesday. But a good chance of passing showers and maybe a chance at a rainbow in your area. Like Brianne captured here in the Grand Forks area this weekend with our noisy weather on Saturday night. Wednesday looks a lot quieter, but it will be cooler. It will be in the mid 60s for many here in the Southern Valley and low 60s up north. Now, Thursday and Friday, we begin a warming trend, taking us back up to near 80 on Friday, but a good chance of Friday showers and storms carrying us into the weekend as well. And then for Father's Day, the clouds break and things look pretty good, albeit cool for dad. Shouldn't be overly windy the way it looks right now but mid 60s is well below average for this time of year. Dads will like it anyway, right? You know, I think we deserve it. Yeah, <laughs> yes, you I'm do. I'm with Mike on this one. <laughs> Whatever you guys want that day, yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome.